The term populism is dishonest. It's time to say what we really mean. Left-leaning pundits decry both Brexit and Trump as the fatal results of populism. So, when the left wins, it's a triumph of democracy. When the left loses, it's mob rule, a rabble brandishing pitchforks, barbarians at the gate. The Oxford Dictionary defines populism as support for the concerns of ordinary people. Yet lately, populism seems a byword for voters not doing what they're told, to Remainers who want to rerun the referendum until Brexiteers get their minds right. Populism means leaving important decisions to a bunch of idiots. Of many ideological views, populism classically urges common people to unseat an unjust governing class. So the American Civil Rights Movement and Occupy Wall Street were populist. So is Jeremy Corbyn. Yet especially since the EU referendum, commentators use one-size-fits-all populism to lazily lump together disparate movements in the US. Italy, Hungary, Austria, Holland, Germany, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, and France. Missing all the nuances, the American press makes no distinction between UKIP and France's National Front, or the US alt-right. UKIP is populist, period. It's this one word that makes Brexit and Trump seem mistakenly like the same thing. The term is troubling because it's loaded since anyone who questions unfettered immigration is suspect and backward. Populist has become wink and nod for ignorant, for pig thing. It's polite code for racist, xenophobic, anti-Semitic, and anti-Muslim. Some Trump voters may deserve these pejorative connotations, but leave voters don't. So before reaching for the euphemism populist, let's try substituting bigoted, because if that's what we mean, we should say it.